Well, Sima, you're really good at budgeting. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> oh, it turns out I wasn't too. We went through like a thing. Um. Welcome to Mom Gamers. We're gonna get right into it. This is Remy's playing Minecraft. It's called Mindplex. And I have a co-host, my sweet sister May. I'm gonna call her Sissy a lot. Hi, Sissy. Hey, Linda. <laughs> and I might call her Sissy too, so don't be confused. There's two Sissies. We're gonna get right into it. The top 10 regrets on marriage. And I'm gonna start first, just so that it doesn't sound misleading. Uh, I so number one, right? Number one, one thing I I learned is to not. This sounds very cliche, but to not have an expectation of your spouse, not have an expectation. So when like when my husband's walking in the door, I'm think before I'll be like, he is gonna do the dishes, and he's gonna uh, know the cake to get to get to me uh, to for me to eat, and he'll know everything what to do he'll just know it and he'll know when to take me on on a date and and um I've, I've learned it took me many years but i learned to not have an expectation because it means that i'm already like uh it it's in my head how would he know how i feel if, if i don't even tell him you know because i'm wishing that he saw this article on, on a marriage magazine or something anyways not have expectations Maybe in the later video, I'll talk more about it. I don't know. Okay, yeah, so see what. Yeah, I think when my husband and I first got married, um, it's funny you said that because I think I expected him to read my mind. Like sometimes I would expect him to know certain things or do certain things and then be upset if he didn't do those things. And then I realized he was not a mind reader he was willing to learn. He was willing to, uh, you know, learn about me and how to be a good husband and how to be a good, you know, partner. But I was being unreal unrealistic, I guess, um, by having um, certain expectations or expecting him to be a mind reader. But I think, let's see, marriage, um, I think one thing that really works well too is um, I'll just be really kind to your spouse and sometimes that kind of surprises him or her, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like be like extra like understanding or like like for example if he if he thinks you're, you're gonna get mad at him about something, surprise him, don't get mad. <laughs> Don't get mad. Oh, that, okay. that kind of throws them off. He's like, wait a minute. You, you mean you're not upset about that? It's like, no, I'm not. You could dance, like do a dance right there. <laughs> yeah, like it's like, not a big deal. I'm not even mad about it. Yeah, so, yeah, but I I think, um, oh, and the one thing over the years, too, I, I know I know you you framed this as regret, but um, but um, I just want to like, say over, over the years, I can learn that I don't have to win. You know what I mean? And just look, just realizing that I don't have to win at every, like any anything, like the you know any arguments or like I don't have to have the last say. I don't have to win. Phew, that takes so wait, much. Wait, wait, wait. But what about like you really had, you were in the right. Oh, you, you were. Yeah. You had a point, a good point across. Something. What What do you do when? Yeah. You don't have to win, but you want to win. Yeah. Well, that's. I think on a, let's see, when, when the stakes are not that high or, you know, something that's not that important, it's okay to not have the last say or have to win because the, the, the positive uh, thing about that is that when it comes to something really important that you got to win or you want to win, you end up winning, uh, you know, maybe because uh, you don't fight over the petty little things. Okay. That when when there is something that that you that you want or or something that's important where you feel you have to win, uh, I well, for me anyways I feel like he's more likely to really listen, and and take in what I have to say and then I end up kind of not necessarily getting my way but accomplishing whatever I wanted you know to accomplish you know to get the point across or to 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 uh, you know to I don't want to say like win, but, but to add to, uh, for him to kind of like 
understand and accept and be willing to change based on what I, you know, uh, wanted to accomplish. Okay. Does that make sense? It's like, like, you know, like it's you know, the whole, the whole thing about like, yeah, who cares if, if you lose? See, I don't want to make it like a battle, but, but, but if you're not constantly always like making everything, um, like, you know, if you're not pushing to win everything, then when it comes to the important things, it's so much easier mm -hmm. to to uh, accomplish those things. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> the next thing, I wish I was more firm or had the wisdom to... <laughs> hey, honey. Jenny. You go, Bloom. Is to... um. Be very firm and start a savings account or like um, a 401k, you know, one of those like something where you look at it, you don't touch it. And not only that, but you get the habit of saving. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Savings account or 401k. I think Chris, I mean, well, he did start a 401k right away. Yeah. But the... the Okay, what happened was when we got married, we got, I think some couples do this, but we wanted to make money. We started like real estate or we started money making things. And, um, and I understand like there's the hunger, the passion for that. But looking back or what I tell my children and other like, I don't know, like that Dave Ramsey guy is like, have a savings account, have a habit of um, putting money into it knowing that you put money into it and you don't really you don't touch it it's not like you say oh i'll I won't, I'll, I'll just dip into it this week you know because i'm mm -hmm. short like learn how to have a savings account to really really say because after that then you then i'll, then I'll budget then i'll, I'll learn yeah. how to budget and i really really know how to learn how to budget from that point on so savings is the first part yeah savings 